Hey everyone, this is Robbie with Badge Pass, and today we're going to be looking at unboxing the Connect Card Printer and how we can set this up to your new Badge Pass One account. Badge Pass One is our new photo ID software that allows you to print from a PC, a tablet, or a phone. So, what we're going to do today is we're going to dive into the unboxing, what's all included, how to set it up and get it connected to your Badge Pass One account, and also some normal care and maintenance stuff that you can do with your card printer. So, let's go ahead and get started. So we're going to open up the box. This is the box that's going to come in. We're going to open it. And you'll notice right off the bat, the first thing you're going to see inside the box is going to be a ribbon, also some, a cleaning card kit, and just some normal packaging. But right now we've got the ribbon. This can come with two different options. You're either going to get the YMCKO ribbon. Uh, this is for printing either just color on the front, or color on the front and color on the back. Or you could come, uh, or it could come with the YMCKOK ribbon, which is going to do color on the front, and black on the back. We're going to set this to the side right now. We don't need it right now, but we will show you in just a few minutes how you can install the ribbon in your new card printer. This is also going to come with a cleaning kit. So you're going to have two things in this little packet. One is going to be a cleaning card, and one is going to be a cleaning alcohol swab. So what both of these are very important. It's very important to clean your card printer every 1,000 card prints. Don't worry, your printer is going to tell you when you should do that. Uh, we're not going to be showing how to do clean your card printer today. I uh, will save that for another video on another day, but this is important to keep in a safe spot. You will need this in the future, just not today when you're setting it up. So with that, let's dive into the printer. Alright, so we just removed the Connect printer from the box, so now we're going to open the Connect printer box here. It's got two flaps. So let's talk about what's inside here. So right off the bat, you're going to notice we have an Ethernet cable. So we include an Ethernet cable because that's how the Connect printer connects to Badge Pass 1. Uh, however, if you have your own Ethernet cable, that's what I'm going to be using today as my own, uh, you can use that. Uh, but however, if you need one, we do include one. Or set that to the side. Next, you're going to notice this little contraption. So this is uh, for the back of the printer. So if you need to use your printer where the cards go out the reject topper, which is a little slot on the back of the printer, we'll show you in a little bit, you can have this uh, fixated on the back. So you'll notice there's little hooks here. I'll show you how to set this up in just a second. But if you want your cards to actually output here, we have this as an available option. The other two cables you're going to find in here are going to be your power cable and your power brick. So let's go ahead and open this. And you'll notice this does have an end, so we're going to take this, we're going to put it into the power brick, and this is what we will power the cable on, power the printer with. So we'll go ahead and set this to the side now. So now let's dive into the printer itself, and uh, we'll look at how we can connect it to Batch Pass 1. Alright, so we have the connect out of the box, let's go ahead and get it connected so that it's available in the Batch Pass 1 account, and you can start printing from it. So we're going to start with flipping the printer to the back. And you're going to notice two different uh, openings here on the uh, side of the printer. So this is for your power and your Ethernet. You're also going to notice this little slit down here. This is for your reject topper. So what that's used for is if there's ever a card jam or something like that or a you know, misprint, something, something kind of like that that goes wrong with the mechanical side of the printer, the cards will be rejected out here. You can also take this device uh, that we opened at the beginning, uh, like a little carriage, and you can attach it here if you want to change the settings and you prefer for the cards to be uh, ejected outside the back instead of outside the front, we can do that as well. But let's go ahead and plug it in. So we're going to start with the power. Take the power cable. We're going to plug it in here. And then we're going to take the Ethernet cable and plug it into the Ethernet port. Now you do want to make sure your Ethernet cable is connected to a PoE switch or connected to a wall and has an internet connection. Remember the Connect is an IoT printer, which means it has to have the internet to be able to print to it. However, what's nice is the printer's already been provisioned to your account. So all you have to do is plug in power and plug in Ethernet, and then your portal should be able to see that. You can double check this by logging into your BadgePass 1 portal, going to Devices, selecting your printer, and you should see a connected message. Once you see that, you're good to go from that point, but we can't quite print just yet. So what we need to do next is we need to add the cards and we need to add the ribbon. So we're going to turn it back around and we're going to start with adding the ribbon. So I just took it out of the, uh, of the ribbon cartridge box here and it's going to look just like this. So you're going to have this ribbon. Uh, what you need to do is you're going to take your fingers, you're going to press on top of the little indent on top of the printer. Just press down, it will pop up, and you can load the ribbon cartridge into the printer. You're going to notice it's got these two little feet to the ribbon cartridge. You want to make sure that's facing the front of the printer. So it'll just slide in, just like that. 
But don't worry, if you forget, uh, there's no other way to put it in. It won't allow you to put it in any other way. So there's only one way to insert the ribbon. So you put that in there. Once it goes securely in place, you can then close the top of the printer. What it's going to do is make a little sound, like you hear right now, just showing, hey, I accepted the ribbon, we're good to go. And the last thing we have to do are load the cards. So you're going to notice there's two different openings here at the front of the printer. There is the input hopper, which is at the top, and the output hopper, which is in the bottom. So we're going to start with the input hopper. We're just going to slide open that uh, container. And then we're going to take the cards, and we're going to load it in here, and just set it in there. That's it. You're also going to notice there's a little card gauge uh, size slider. What that is used for is if you have different uh, size cards, a vast majority of your ID card is going to be 30 mil, so you want to make sure it's set to 30. Uh, but if you ever have an issue where you've got some jamming issues or if it's not picking it up, you may want to look at adjusting that or make sure it's set to 30. Once that's done, we'll close that and then your cards will output from the output hopper. That's pretty much it. So once they, once they print, it's going to take it, it's going to apply the ribbon to the card and then once it's done, it'll output here and then you have an ID card. Hopefully this was helpful and you successfully connected your printer to your new Badge Pass 1 account. However, if you have any questions or require additional assistance, please do not hesitate to reach out to us.